Hello friends. Welcome back to another how-to video. This one is going to be how to back up your computer safely, correctly, with an awesome free program. Yes, you heard that right. Free. F-R-E-E. -E. It's called Veeam Endpoint Protection. It's their free in-home use. So follow me and let's get right to it. Okay, we're going to open the Webernets. We're going to go to Google. Veeam and point it helped if i spelled correctly so endpoint backup free windows backup solution for pcs and endpoints download now you have to create a free account go ahead and create your free account and download the software after you create your free account go ahead and download we're going to do this one, the standalone Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows free. Protect a single laptop or workstation. Go ahead and download, accept the terms. Depend on your internet speed, it won't take very long to download. Okay, go ahead and open the file. So mine's in my downloads. So you can open. And it's just an executable in there. So drag that to the desktop. Run as administrator, go through the whole setup process. You can leave everything as the defaults. Go ahead and accept. So I already have it installed. So we're going to update. So we're just going to click the update and it's going to go through. I go ahead and install it. Just follow all the basic default settings. Installation is complete. So the first thing that I see pop up even after update is run Veeam Recover Media Creation Wizard. I already ran that when I first initially installed this, so we don't need to do that. But I do highly recommend you doing that. We're going to click Finish. Go ahead and hit your Start button. Type Veeam. Open. So as you see, my last backup was 13 hours ago. But to configure one, you would do new job. So obviously the free doesn't support multiple. So we're going to go in and edit job just to show you the settings that I have. So you're going to do new job. So it's going to scan your entire PC and the partitions. So this is the name of my desktop, SBB. So you can name it whatever you want. Go to backup mode. You can do entire computer volume level or file level i en i enjoy doing the the file level because if my backup or if my pc dies i'd rather just have the files those are the most important to me because so i can always reinstall windows and reinstall all the programs i have instead of doing an entire computer backup so if you're looking for a file level i do recommend a file level backup and this is where you get to choose your files you can choose operating system or personal files. This includes all personal files. Or you leave those blank and you can just go through your actual C drive or D drive or E drive, however many drives you have. So we're gonna so I choose E or C the users and just select all users because that's where all the important information is for your profile. So your documents, your data, downloads, pictures, music, things like that. That's where all that's stored at. Unless you've personally changed it, but most people don't. They just leave it be. Click next. Your destination. So this is where you can have a couple of different options. You could do a local storage. So you can choose that option to back up locally attached storage such as USB, FireWire, eSATA. Nobody has FireWire anymore. But a USB external drive. Shared folder. This is where I have a, a network drive attached to my, to my network. So it's all map drives. So that's what I use. I highly recommend grabbing a network attached storage device, maybe a hundred bucks from, from Best Buy or Walmart, Amazon, something that has two to four terabytes in storage and has uh, an ethernet connection on the back. So you can attach it to your router. I, I choose the shared folder. You, if you have a Veeam backup repository that's managed by Veeam, go for it. But if you do, you are not going to be watching this video. Microsoft OneDrive. Granted, you only get five, five gigs free. Then you have to pay for more. So I choose a shared folder or recommend the local storage if you have an external drive. So this is the IP address. 
that you would have in your, your own network. And you name it whatever you want. That just so happens to be mine. I just named a folder called Backup. Requires share access credentials. Depending on the drive that you get, may have you put the credentials in. It's not a password. It's going to be whatever your your local account is or your Microsoft account that you do to log in with. And I have the, the keep backups for seven days. You can go into the advanced, you can create full backups periodically, maintenance, storage. You don't really need to mess with any of this stuff if you're doing the file level. If you're doing the entire computer backup, then I would say create active full backups monthly. I'd say on the last day or the last Saturday, last Sunday of whatever month, or you can have it do weekly on Saturdays, but I'm doing file level, so I don't need the full backups. We'll go next, and then the schedule. I have it go daily, 1 a.m. on Sundays. That's it. So I just do it once a week, backs up only the changes, so it's an incremental backup. So if there's any any file file changes or new files, those get backed up and stored into the backups. So it's pretty sweet. So it's not going to back up every file every week. It's just going to keep adding on to those incrementals. It's, 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 a, it's a great product. And you hit apply. And then once you're done, just click finish. And you now have a free program that'll do backups for you. Just like that. I hope this helps. Hope you like the video. It's a great way to get free backups and you don't have to worry about losing any data. Like I said, well, it's a Veeam agent. I highly recommend getting a network attached, network attached storage device, or you can use a USB storage device. Any one of those two will make your backups perfect. You can save yourself a couple hundred bucks in case if your computer craps out and then you lose access to your data, you have it all backed up on an external hard drive or a network attached storage device. And how to recover that if your computer does die and you need to get a new one, you reinstall the Veeam agent, you let it scan all the partitions, you reconnect the hard drive, and then you can do file level restore. We can cover that in another video next time. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Thanks for checking out the video.